Jessie V. And as you can tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be talking about mistletoe. And my dog, once again, is right beside me as I'm filming, chewing very loudly on a toy. So I do apologize if he interferes with your viewing experience. <laughs> so most people think that mistletoe is this cute thing. Oh, you kiss underneath it. But there's actually a lot of dark stuff behind it in its history, and you're about to find out. He naps the rest of the day, but whenever I'm filming, he's like, you know what? I'm gonna be as loud as can be. By the way, do you like my Christmas sweater? I have so many. They're literally endless. Before I get started, guys, I just wanted to give another announcement. We still have a small group of Christmas mystery boxes left. So if you would like one before Christmas, now is the time because you wanna make sure it gets to you on time. So I will link it down below. We also have two other mystery items. We have a mystery stocking filled with a bunch of mystery cool magical things. And we have a mystery ornament. They come in three different colors. They're really pretty. And inside each one, there is a mystery jewelry piece. So if you would like any of that stuff, I have linked it down below. But without further ado, let's get right into today's video, starting with what mistletoe really is, because you don't know what it really is. Mistletoe is actually a parasitic plant. It produces small white berries and grows almost exclusively in trees. It finds its home, like many seeds do, through bird droppings. And as the seed begins to grow, the plant attacks attaches itself to the host tree in order to steal water and the essential nutrients that it needs to survive. And then some species of mistletoe are used as Christmas decorations and are associated with that tradition of kissing. But not many people know that mistletoes are slow growing pests that are very persistent. Their natural death is determined by the death of the hosts. Now I had no idea that this plant infested trees and slowly killed them. It's literally a parasite and we just like associate this with Christmas. And it's actually able to stay green all winter because of the fact that it sucked all the energy out of the poor host tree. Now, not only is mistletoe a parasitic plant that comes from bird droppings, but the origins of its name are also very unattractive. It comes from two Anglo-Saxon words. One is mistle, meaning dung, AKA poop. And the other one is tan, meaning stick or branch. So <laughs> it's a poop stick. Did I just ruin mistletoe for everybody? Because the second I found Found out these facts, I texted my mom and she was like, wow, thanks for that, Jess. I, I really appreciate that. All right, so let's get into the kissing history. Why did this plant become about kissing? The mistletoe tradition says that a man is allowed to kiss any woman standing beneath a sprig or bouquet of mistletoe and vice versa. If a kiss is refused, bad luck befalls the person who said no. And this is like so messed up to me. Imagine walking under mistletoe, not knowing it's there and some person beside you is like, hey, Guess what we have to do now, huh? Like, no. <laughs> and just so everyone watching knows, you are allowed to say no, okay? You are allowed to say no. It is also said that the two people must pluck a single berry from the mistletoe with each kiss and just stop smooching once they were all gone. Imagine if there was like a hundred berries on this mistletoe. <laughs> no thanks. Now this kissing tradition apparently goes all the way back to Norse mythology. In the Norse culture, the mistletoe plant was a sign of love and peace. The story goes that the goddess named Fig lost her son to an arrow made of mistletoe. After his death, she vowed that mistletoe would kiss anyone who passed beneath it so long as it was never used as a weapon again. So she basically took something that was super tragic and tried to make it into something more positive. So from violence to kisses. It also started back with the Celtic Druids of the first century AD. Because mistletoe could blossom even during the frozen winter, the Druids came to view it as a sacred symbol of vivacity and they administered it to humans and animals alike in the hope of restoring fertility. The Greeks also tried to use it to cure menstrual cramps and and spleen disorders and a lot of stuff health-wise it would apparently help. Now it is considered to be bad luck to take down your mistletoe immediately after Christmas celebrations. It apparently should be kept there all year round completely intact until the next Christmas then you take it down and replace it with a fresh one. Okay I don't think anyone wants to keep their Christmas decorations up all year round. It is also said that unmarried women to see their future husbands in their dream used to keep some branches of the local church's mistletoe underneath their pillow at night. So you would put this parasite underneath your pillow and you would dream about your future husband. Interesting. In medieval times, mistletoe was hung year round to keep witches and ghosts from entering the house. Okay, so those are basically most of the superstitions and the history. Doesn't that blow your mind? I didn't know any of this. But as usual, I do have a creepy story 
way to end the video. This is called The Girl in My Hallway. This story is told by an older man who talks about a time that something really scary happened to him when he was like 11 years old. This happened around Christmas time back in the 60s and this boy's name is Toby. One Christmas, his father happily walked through the door holding a giant bundle of mistletoe in his hands. He claimed that he saw it growing in a tree and decided to bring it home to hang in their hallway. Now Toby immediately had this strange feeling about the plant. It just felt like it did not belong to them. Three days before Christmas, he was walking down the stairs with a view of the hallway when he saw this little girl standing underneath the mistletoe just staring at him. And her expression was completely blank, almost as if she was just standing there in a daze. So he just waved at her and said hello, but he looked around to see if anyone else was in the house and when he looked back at the mistletoe, she was gone. This happened every single day until Christmas and when he told his parents, they just laughed at him and said it was normal at his age to imagine being kissed under the mistletoe by a pretty girl. So he asked his father where exactly he found this mistletoe anyways. And his father said it was in a tree in their local graveyard. So Toby said, okay, show me. His father walked with him down the street until they approached the gates of the graveyard. They walked for a couple minutes over to this giant tree that hovered over a tall gravestone. And when he got closer, he saw that the gravestone said Elizabeth Tasman, 1921 to 1931. So this mistletoe in this tree was sort of looking over her stone. It was kind of like her tree that the father took from. So I guess that's why she lingered and that's really sad but also really creepy at the same time. Anyways guys, that is the end of this video about mistletoe. If you want me to do more creepy videos about like Christmas traditions and stuff, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And don't forget if you would like a Christmas mystery box before they all sell out, I have linked it down below. But I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!